What's going on, Pokemon trainers? This is China Connor, and I'm with Kubal98 again. We're here for the third episode of our collaboration series, the Battle Tree segment. How are you doing? I'm very happy to be here, and I'm really excited to get this started. All right. So, if you guys have not seen the second, or actually the, the first and second episode, be sure to check it out. It was really awesome. We had a lot of fun doing the second one especially, and that was the last one. So, make sure you check those out. I'll put those in the description in this particular video. What we're going to do in this episode, we're going to do four battles, so that way we can do seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're not going to be changing any of our Pokemon, so we're using the same Pokemon in the last, or from the last video, too. So I'll let them, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys what we're bringing while we do this thing. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm waiting on you. All right, let's do it. Okay. Battle number seven. We're rolling with six straight victories. If we lose, then the series is over, unfortunately. So we have to play our best. If right. we faint one Pokemon, it's fine. We just need to make sure that none faint. Yeah, that is the ultimate goal. And again, this is for fun. Nothing too major. If we make it to the very end, that's great. We'll earn a lot of prizes and stuff like that, which is great. So we're facing against these, um, these trainers right here. They are bringing some... Very powerful Pokemon from the Sinnoh region. Ninetales and Sharkbite the Garchomp are back. Alright. Okay, I am going to automatically switch out. Because I know for a fact I will faint. Yeah, Flamethrower. Because of the Infernape. Yeah, Flamethrower, Fire Punch, Fire Blitz, you name it. Infernape is going to be too much for you to handle. So, I'm going to go with the Rock Slide. It's going to hit both of those Pokemon very hard. Hopefully, I don't miss it. I've had some bad luck in the last video. Or the last uh, episode, rather. I kept missing my attacks. And I flinch. Which is not good. I would love to hit the Frost Slash. Because I would probably be alive. I go down. That was such a great play. Okay, can you take out the process for me, Cobalt 98? Because I'm in a tough spot already, and we're not, in, we're not even three minutes into this video. Sure thing. Okay, make it quick, because I'm not going to be here for very long. I'm going to go for the Sludge Bomb on Infernape. Otherwise, I, I can also go for Sleep Powder, but that's also risky. This is very tough for me. Myself here. Do what you think. Yeah. I, did I forget to Mega Evolve? Holy shoot. Oh my goodness. I'm having some very bad luck right now. Alright. Flamethrower. Lands and KOs. Thank gosh. That Frost Lash would have been... Oh, very, man. very hard to deal with. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, for some reason, forgot to Mega Evolve, even though I pushed the button. So, I'm going to try that again and use Synthesis if I can. I'm going to go down very easily. And then I'm going to be using... There we go. Yeah. Flames are again. Wow. So, I'm off to a terrible start, as you can tell. Least life. Ooh. On who? Me. Oh. That did nothing. And acrobatics. On oh my gosh. Me. This having... does absolutely nothing. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I'm getting over synthesis. Wow. That is so awesome. I'm lucky right now. The momentum has changed all of a sudden. I land the flamethrower, okay. but it doesn't do that much. All right, we need to, we need to take care of this Infernape because it's going to... Um, Cause trouble? Well, if I don't do anything about it, yes. Luckily, it doesn't use acrobatics on me. I feel like if it oh, went for it... Oh, 
If it weren't for it, I would be gone. Oh, but that okay. Phew. Yeah. Acrobatics, Acrobatics again. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am in the danger zone right now. Oh my gosh. We hit the sleep powder. Finally. Okay. This is okay. This is great. This is absolutely awesome right now because I could go for synthesis. And I am not going to switch out. Okay. Wow. That was a know, scary moment for me. I know my moves are not going to be as effective. But I know for a fact... Just do what you can. That would be great. You know, any, any additional damage to the Infernape would be fantastic. Since this Infernape is really freaking annoying, yeah, I'm going to have to pull out the move that I pulled out last episode. And that's your Z-Power move, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so your... Just to help get rid of it... As soon as possible. So here we go. Malicious moonsault. Here we go. This should KO, but it might not. I, I'm not sure. It's a dark type move, right? Yes. Okay, so it might not KO it. But you never know. Z power moves are very strong. But yeah. You never know. Here we go. Look at that. That's a great animation. And Ooh. it almost KOs. Yeah. Almost. Very close. So, not bad at all. So, I'm going to go for Sludge Bomb and... That should get rid of yeah. Infernape. Great. Yay! So, after a very scary moment at the beginning, <laughs> we're able to KO the Infernape there. I guess Fossilus was also a pain in the ass, but oh well. well we don't us. We took care of that. One pretty early on. Oh my goodness. That was so scary, my friend. Very scary. I'm... I'm going for Giga Drain here. Which... Yeah, that does some damage, but... Gives, which takes it down to uh, by a fourth. And mm -hmm. then I use Flamethrower, which does a bit more, but... That not... was a critical hit. <laughs> but, as you can see, now I'm paralyzed. That's not a big deal because I will outspeed the Electros and I should be able to kill it at this range with a Surge Bomb. Okay, battle number seven. That was definitely a fight that I will remember <laughs> during this series. That was really scary. I probably should have done some things that, you know, if I, if I did something different to handle the Frostless or the Infernate for that matter. It was me forgetting how to Mega Evolve <laughs> and some other things. So I will take those to heart when we go forward. Not saying that we'll be facing them again, but if we do, then I know what to do. Yes, and on top of that, we need to... Actually, we probably should figure out how, like, who goes... And attack switch Pokemon yes. as well. Mm -hmm. We'll this, work on that. This time around. Yeah. Because we don't know what the other the other trainers have. Alright, here we go. We have Women's Cut and let me see if I can pronounce this right. Toka tomorrow. There you go. Thank you, my friend. I couldn't I wouldn't be able to say it correctly. Toga tomorrow. Is that close to what you were saying? That's exactly what I was saying. All right, that's a lot better than I thought. So that Pokemon is electric type, so I can go for Earthquake, but why would I do that when there's a Whimsicott? Okay, Whimsicott is actually... Hmm. This is really tough because I'm a choice Scarf. I can hit the Whimsicott really hard with an Iron Head. If it doesn't KO, I might get KO'd by a Moonblast. Is it worth, is it worth it, my friend? Um. Cool Ball 98, is it worth it? I'm scared. <laughs> if you're, you're that nervous, I wouldn't suggest it. I feel confident. I feel more confident. I should be able to do this. What are you going for? I'm going for Blizzard, which spreads That's over both opponents. All right. Pokemon. It's... 
I'm going for it, guys. Swiss scarf, iron head. Swiss scarf does not affect anything. And oh my gosh, look at that. That was a critical hit. Wow. Wow. So that saved my butt right there. I'm not sure if it mattered, though. That's interesting. I'm paralyzed, but okay. it it's not that hmm. that effective right now, so... Oh, no. Here comes more trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I am switching out right now. It's probably the same in Fergus. It's wanting revenge. <laughs> no. Revenge time for Infernape. Oh, God. I'm not going to let that happen. I mean, he can't really do much to me. But yes, uh, you should switch out. I'm going to... I'm... I can't switch out. And I can't switch up moves. God dang it. This is what happens when you're twist stuff. So I'm going to use Iron Head on Fernape right now. And I'm going to be switching out. I understand that this is really weird, but at the same time, I can't do much. Not this time. Yeah, fake out? Okay. I kind of should have expected that, because... Yeah, this is the exact same in Fernape from the last three games. Or from uh, the last battle, I should say. <laughs> Sorry. It... Man, this is insane. <laughs> Luckily, I switched out. You're paralyzed too. Oh my gosh, two of your Pokemon are paralyzed. Okay, that's okay. bad news bears, but... And somehow... Okay, this... I have a super effective move against Toka tomorrow. Alright, let's see if you can hit your attacks. Uh-oh, it's using our flex. That but means... let's see if it actually works. Oh, you're using a special attacking move. <laughs> Fantastic idea right there. All right, that did some damage. Perfect. All right, so uh, my Garchomp is kind of in a tough spot. I can't really switch out into Venusaur. You see, I don't know what Infernape is going to do at this point. So we're going to go for the Iron Head again. Hopefully I can flinch it. Please flinch. Please flinch. It's not that effective. Encore. Which well, is annoying, if anything. It can be, but you know what? I'm sure so it doesn't matter. I'm locked in on Iron Head regardless. Okay, and I'm paralyzed. You got paralyzed? Okay, that's not... If I'm, to... I'm betting on the fact that it's not going to use Fire Punch or for Acrobatics. Because I'm going to switch out, okay? This seems weird. Is that even the right play? What should I... I uh, um hmm. well you're doing really good so far i know i'm doing okay like i'm not taking any damage from this thing i haven't gotten a flinch yet which i should at some point but not right now it's using fling on which you. does it what uh -oh, you're absolutely right. nothing yes but look out it's going to uh oh it's using flinch. yeah that's going to make you flinch as well Ugh. That's, That's annoying. It is. However, Infernape is almost dead. So let's see if we can KO him soon. Spiky Shield. I've always wondered why it can learn that move. It's a grass type attack, or it's not really an attack, but either way. Yes, I got the flinch, and you got paralyzed, but I'm happy I got the flinch. That means that another Iron Head. Why is this even happening? Like, <laughs> Iron Head to hit Infernape. This is like the reverse of everything that's supposed to happen. But, oh well. Iron Head again. And it faints! Yes! Finally! <laughs> wow, that's like two Infernapes in two battles. That we uh, well, it didn't do as much work as in the last uh, match. And I can't move! You keep getting paralyzed. What is this? Is this paralyzation? It's Parallax! That's exactly what I was trying to say. I can finally switch out and go into Venusaur. Garchomp, you've been amazing. You're like the MVP in this entire video so far. You're switching out too. I can understand that. You're very frustrated. So... As if you... Like... Hey, come on! Yeah. Using Nuzzle again, huh? Yeah. Which... Did it use Nuzzle? Oh, yeah, it did. Yes. Okay. I didn't really see that. I only saw the wish. Okay, so I'm going to go for the Mega Evolution. And let's just put that Togo Jumaru to sleep. Because we are, at this point, very frustrated with this thing. 
I am. Yeah. I don't know about you. Guys, Cobalt ninety eight is very upset right now. Let's let's give him a let's give him a thumbs up for this video to make him feel better. <laughs> let's let's go ahead and do that right now. You should totally do that. Okay, so he's using reflect. Not really going to make a difference right now. We find uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You keep getting paralyzed. More paralyzation. Okay, that is More Parallax! Curse is Parallax! Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is what happens. Curse is Parallax! Oh man. Okay, so this bomb is not very effective. It, I'm going to switch out of here. So, Venusaur, you did your part. Now we can go back into Garchomp and use a super effective attack against this thing. And I go. Back into Incineroar because why the heck not? And also, even though it is paralyzed, and for <laughs> really annoying reasons, stupid yeah, freaking this, Parahax. This Parahax is ridiculous. Okay, so I'm going to. Okay. I can't really hit the Togo de Maru. That much. I want to say I went for the earthquake, but I can't really do that when you're on the on the field. So that sucks. The iron barbs and the rocky helmet. It woke up and it flinched. <laughs> <Pretty> nice. <laughs> and door. I finally am able to land something after a million turns later. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And That's still parahax, but I don't. Oh, I I don't care because I finally was able to land something. Well, that's what matters, right? All right, is this is a spiky shield. This is ridiculous. No, that means some recoil. Okay. Well. Annoying, but let's eh, do it. What? We're almost there. We're almost there. What else are we supposed to do? I'm going for iron heads. It's not gonna do anything. But oh well. It's not gonna do that much, but luckily. I hate this recoil, but we flinched, and you don't get paralyzed again. And that was one long ass fight. <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me? That took up half of this entire video. We have two more battles to go. We're going for four this time instead of three, so that we can reach to ten. Oh, we have one more Pokemon about to fight here. It's all to know a fairy type. But guess what? Hang on a second. No, I'm thinking it wrong. All to know is normal. Yeah. I'm thinking of the Mega Evolution. Yeah, I think you are. Oh, well. My bad. But it's okay. We're going to land a Iron Head. And what is happening right now? Uh, you're being poisoned. Well, that's not good. I use a Flamethrower. Have you used a Z-Power move yet? Uh, no. I don't think so. You can go ahead and use that if you want. Because that's going to KO the auto now. And while you do that, I'm going to switch out of here. Because why not, right? Man, oh man. That Togo Demaru. That Pokemon is annoying. Draining kiss. Because Parahax. I know, right? I hate this. We should probably ban Togo Demaru in this format. Just for the heck of it. Like, if I had to face one in a Wi Fi battle, I'm done. <laughs> I would just, like, forfeit if I had to, but... It's like, take one look, it's like, okay, I'm done, I'm out of here. Yeah, I don't want to go through it. I don't want to go through it. You don't want to go through it ever again. I'll know that. <laughs> yes. Alright, this should KO. I'll be very disappointed if it doesn't. And we actually KO it. So there you go. That is the second battle there. We got two more to go. Hope you guys are ready for that. You never know what's going to happen next. Precisely because, well... That battle took forever, guys. Battle number nine. Alright, so we're going to do this one and then one more, and that will reach to ten. And that would be a great stopping point for us. For the fourth episode. Don't we also face two, um... Oh, the, un the Elite Four, or... The or no. the master trainers? Yes, I, the master trainers. I guess I'll find out. I think you do, but I'm not sure. That might 
be an extra bonus video or a bonus battle rather. We'll find out. Don't worry about it. What we have to worry about is a blazing can of B girl. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do here. Don't do anything yet, I will let you know what... Okay, so... You can't do anything because of Blaze can out here. Yep, I'm, and that's why I'm going to be switching. I'm going to go for Oxide. It's going to target B-Girl and Blaze of Cannon. Blaze of Cannon is going to be neutral damage, but B-Girl will be gone before you know it. So Incineroar is coming in. I go for the rock slide. I hit both Pokemon. Which KOs B drill? One of them KOs it. Yeah, there you go. I'm really surprised that none of these Pokemon are mega evolving. But that's just me. Oh! That was dumb. <laughs> well, actually, hang on. That would be neutral to your nine kills. It might KO because nine kills is very frail. So either way, something would be going down. Yeah. That sucks, though. I'll give you that. I understand that it's, uh... Ooh, okay. Do you have Protect? Yes. I would actually do that a lot here because there's a strategy that I learned. When you're facing slacking with the, uh, Trunk ability, when you use Protect on the turn that it attacks you, you're protected. And that gives you an open opportunity for you to target the uh, slacking while it's using that ability. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to... You're going to go for Protect, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to use Outrage... Actually, wait, hold on. I'm choice Scarf. So what am I locked into? Rock Slide. I keep forgetting that sometimes, but it's okay. Protect, yeah. This is just for the slacking. I'm not going to use Earthquake because I can't for some reason because I'm a choice Scarf. No, but it's it okay. On does card. some uh, yeah. damage, but as you can see, I'm protected. High kick. And oh, that was a great play. Oh. Nice. Woo. Uh-oh. Uh, just a, a berry. Yeah, but speed is going to be faster. Mm. <laughs> it's going to be faster than my choice. Or actually, am, am I? Okay, go ahead and target the slacking if you can. All right. Unless the slacking has its hidden ability, which would be unfortunate, but... Hopefully it doesn't, but you never know. Yeah, that's the... That's the one thing that you don't know. Okay, so Moonblast... Okay, great. It has the talk ability. See what I mean? You target it when it's... During its uh, lazy stage of battle. The talk ability, of course. Okay. Here's a Pokemon that I hate facing. Glide score. I'm going to... I'm going to protect again, but... Okay. Just so that I don't get KO'd by the slacking if... Yeah, I don't know what it's going to use. It's been using uh, Encore or something like that, so I'm not... Yeah, it's going to go down anyway, so you're, you're good. Okay, then you can go for the Ice-type attack and finish off the Glyceor if you want. I hate facing Glyceor in single battles, but... When you have someone behind your back, it makes it a lot easier. I'm gonna go um, for another rock slide here. Switch scarf and all. If I can finish that extra bonus points. Wow, look at a lot of damage. I um, go into the... Wizard. Wizard. So, yes. which KO's, so... Okay. Yay! Yeah, you go. Yay! That is our third trainer, and that means that... We'll be facing our final trainer, which is hopefully going to be one of those master trainers that we've been talking about, but we don't know that for certain. So let's go ahead and find out, right? This is Who gonna is be... it going to be if it's a master trainer? It's... Uh, oh, so we have Wally and... Oh, him. Yeah, I think that's... um. Yeah. I know, he's, he's from X and Y. What's, yes. What's his name, though? I keep forgetting. So he's Wally and Gatio. Yeah. That's who it was. Okay. So there you go. This is our um, bonus trainer fight or master trainer fight. Yeah, master trainer. 
perfect. That's going to be a good way to wrap this episode for sure. All right, these tend to be very tough fights. So let's think up our feet here. Gawade and Espeon. So I am expecting Gawade to Mega Evolve here. If it does have a Mega Stone. I think it will have it. So what should I go for here? What should you go for? I'm going for Moonblast on Glade. Okay, and Espeon, I'm going to go for Outrage. This should be ideal. This will be the first time I'm using Outrage this entire uh, video here. And this is it. It made your balls. There you go. Yeah, I knew at some point you would see more of these. Outrage actually hits the leg. Almost fainted, but... Uh-oh. Look out. That should... Oh, okay. That was a critical hit. Gosh darn it. And because... Because of that critical <sighs> hit. That, that actually changes everything. Grass not. Let's see how much this does. Yeah, it did some damage, but mm, I'm actually more worried about the Gallade than the Espeon. I'm going to be going into my second and last Pokemon, Incineroar. Alright. Outrage <laughs> is going to probably target Espeon, so you can go ahead and finish off Gallade if you'd like. Okay. Just knowing that Outrage hits randomly. Oh, it hits the leg. Okay, well. Yes, but luckily. Uh, hmm. Luckily, because. Okay, Darkest Area is super effective to Espeon anyway. That's always surprising. I thought I wanted to KO the. or I mean, hit the Espeon because of random. Well, I guess it was random, but it decided to hit the leg, the leg instead. Uh, <laughs> A guard chomp against guard chomp! Dude, okay, if I hit the Scar Chomp with an Outrage, we'll be set. Oh. oh. Slow, bro. Smart move. Outrage, please hit the Scar Chomp. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! That makes life a whole lot easier. I'm confused. You're using your Z power. Yep. All right, there you go. That's gonna probably finish off the slow bro. <laughs> because I'm hoping it does, but I'm not exactly sure on percent if it actually will. What if I told you that that move is very powerful and it's super effective to slow bro as well? Okay. I think you're good. <laughs> I think it's an overkill. It is. Over KO. Yes. So we'll be able to KO that, and we'll be able to finish off Espeon also. Look at that. That's not... I'll probably finish it off for you, because I'm faster. Let's use that rage. Hopefully I don't hit myself in confusion. <laughs> that would not be good. Alright, we don't hit ourselves in confusion, and we KO the Espeon. So there you go, guys! We have finished four episodes, and we've reached ten battles. So, we've actually made it halfway. Not bad. So, this was definitely a long video, for sure. Almost 30 minutes, but that's fine. And that's going to do it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channels, Sharon Connor and Kubo98, and we'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day, trainers.